Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios and rates, specifically how we can represent them in a variety of manners. We will do so in 5 minutes or less. So one of the things that we learn in 6th grade is this term scale factor. And you should be familiar with this term factor. A factor is a part of a multiplication problem. So a scale factor is a number which scales or multiplies a quantity. And that's one way that we can describe a ratio or a rate. So let me give you an example. Let's say I'm going to check on how many people viewed this particular YouTube video. And I noticed that after one week, I only had two views. Well, that's not very much. But I come back a week later, and then suddenly I have 10 views. And I come back for a third week, and now it has 50 views. And then it has 250 views. And then it has 1,250 views. The question is, is what is the factor by which these views are increasing week by week? Well, we need to think factor, it's something that multiplies a quantity. So how am I going to get from 2 to 10? Well, that's going to be times 5. So 2 times 5 gets me 10. 10 times 5 gets me 50, and you see 50 times 5 gets me 250, and then 250 times 5 gets me 1,250. So my scale factor for this particular problem is going to be the number which I use to multiply each of these quantities to get the next quantity. So one way that we can represent ratios and rates is simply with a scale factor. This has a scale factor of 5. Now you are probably familiar with representing these things in a table. So I told you that these are various weeks. And so we can just make a little table here. And then we can say these are the views. So week one, we had two views. Week two, we had 10 views. And week three, week four, and then we're going to put week five all the way down here. And you see we have 50, 250, and then down below, at 1,250. So in this case, we're going to be able to find our scale factor by looking vertically. How are we getting from 2 to 10? That's by multiplied by 5. How are we getting from 10 to 50? From 50 to 250? And then from 250 to 1,215. So that's going to be our scale factor of 5. Every week, the previous week's views are multiplied by 5. And that's our scale factor. Let's look at another example. Sometimes you will be asked to create a table to solve a ratio problem. So in this problem, a student is building a wall out of Legos, and they're using a ratio of a very specific pattern, eight reds to every three blues. And the question might be, if there are 24 blues using this particular ratio, how many reds? So what we could do is we can start filling in this table with this ratio of 8 red to 3 blue. And then we're just going to go through our multiplication facts. So if we do 8 times 2, that's 16. 3 times 2, that's going to double as well. And then 8 times 3 is 24. And you see how we're just kind of moving up here, 32 to 12. We've got 40 to 15. 48 to 18, 56 to 21, and now we finally get to our 24 blues, and that is going to be with a total of 64 reds. So if we're keeping this ratio of 8 reds to 3 blues, we can use this table to find our ratio of 64 to 24. So now it's time for you to try. On the problem on top, see if you can find the scale factor to see how we're increasing from 3 to 12 to 48 and so on. And on the bottom, if you are mixing paint with a ratio of 4 red to 5 blue, if you have 40 blue, how many red will you have? And you have your answers, unpause the video and check your work. Looking at top, you see that each quantity is multiplied by 4 to get to the next quantity. So our scale factor is going to be 4. And at the bottom, I created this table here with a ratio of 4 reds to 5 blue and extending it all the way out, you see that when I have 40 blue, my question is how many reds? I'm going to have 32 reds.